Hi, I'm Dr. Obermeyer, and the purpose of this video is to review anterior cruciate ligament graft choices. If you sustain an injury to the anterior cruciate ligament, there are some important decisions to make, not only with regard to whether and when to have surgery, but also with regard to what type of tissue to utilize for the replacement or the new anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction graft. Generally speaking, there are two large categories of tissue grafts, including allograft or cadaver grafts, and autografts, or grafts taken from the patient's own anatomy. Generally speaking, allografts, or cadaver tissue grafts, are utilized for patients that may be slightly older and that have slightly lower activity demands because the rate of re-injury or re-rupture of the graft is acceptably low in patients with cadaver donor grafts. The benefit of these types of grafts is that the recovery is significantly easier than the recovery from harvesting one's own tissue called an autograft, of which there are several different types. In younger, highly competitive athletes or in individuals that are likely to place high loads through the graft in a repetitive fashion and therefore have reasonably high rates of re-injury or re-rupture of the graft, selecting a graft that has an appropriate rate of re-injury is important. One of the more notable and increasingly popular graft choices for autograft anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction remains the quadriceps tendon autograft. And the benefit of this graft is that it has very high and durable tensile and mechanical properties, while it does not contribute to potential risks of, risks of other types of grafts, including the patellar tendon graft or the hamstring tendon graft. In comparison with another soft tissue graft for anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction, the hamstring tendon graft, quadriceps tendon grafts has size and length characteristics that are selected by the surgeon and not necessarily individually based on the patient's anatomy. In hamstring tendon grafts, the graft that was previously present in the knee is harvested, whether or not it is of ideal mechanical characteristics and size. The rates of re-rupture re and failure of quadriceps tendon grafts is very low and approaches the rates of re-rupture of the previous gold standard patellar tendon grafts. The historic gold standard for anterior cruciate ligament autograft reconstruction is a patellar tendon graft, which involves the harvest of bone plugs or small fragments of bone on either side of the kneecap and shin bone that allow bone to bone healing of the graft. Although the fixation of bone patellar tendon bone grafts is very robust and at time zero or immediately following the surgery is very strong, these grafts have more difficult recovery with increased pain as a result of the morbidity from harvesting the bone at either sides of the knee joint, as well as with possible pain that occurs at the location of the harvest at the front of the knee joint. Long-term pain at the front of the knee is a risk of any type of anterior cruciate ligament surgery and is slightly higher in female athletes. And therefore, if there are concerns about kneeling pain or pain in the front of the knee, sometimes it is best to avoid patellar tendon grafts. And finally, probably the easiest type of graft to undergo for harvest purposes is the hamstring graft, which is taken from an inch long or so incision in the front of the knee that is utilized ordinarily to do the ACL surgery in the first place. And therefore, the morbidity or extra invasiveness of the hamstring harvest is among the lowest of any of the autograft choices. The problem with hamstring tendon grafts is that the tissue is slightly less robust and therefore, and is confirmed on long-term studies, has slightly higher rates of re-rupture and re-injury and therefore requiring further surgery and long-term follow-up. Patients at a high risk of re-injury in their knee are probably best to avoid hamstring tendon autografts. If you're a recreational athlete with only mild or occasional competitive athletic demands, and if you are over the age of 30 years of age, you may be appropriately selected for an allograft or a cadaver graft. And the benefit of this is that the actual invasiveness of the procedure is much less with very acceptable long-term rates of re-injury and need for further surgery. A common source of concern in individuals considering allograft or cadaver graft anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction is the rate of transmission of infectious material in the graft. And with modern processing, this risk is very, very low at approximately one in one million grafts and remains a very rare occurrence in modern orthopedic practice. Thank you for your interest in anterior cruciate ligament graft selection. And please visit our website for more information.